21, he joins the army. At 23, he joins the special forces. He's a trained sniper. An explosives expert. No service record, no discharge record, nothing. This guy right here, he knows how to disappear. So, Olivier, this is uh, the third Taken film, but your second uh, Taken film. Quite famously, no one is taken um, in, in this movie. I wondered how early on did you make that decision and how important was it in the planning of the film? No, nothing has been planned before. <laughs> At the end of Taken 2, uh, it was obvious that uh, nobody had to be taken again, you know, because we, we made the, you know, the, 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 the round. So, uh, so they found this uh, brilliant idea to not to be, you know, just to endanger uh, Brian Mills again and to endanger his family and by killing the mother in the beginning of the movie. Lenny! Lenny? So after all this, everything could happen, you know. And, um, and so I've been, Liam told me about the story because none of us were waiting for that uh, sudden, you know, idea. And uh, he told me, yeah, Yo, you should maybe talk to Luke about this. So I met Luke the week after in New York, and um, and he told me maybe you should read the script. And uh, I was not very convinced, you know, on the idea in the beginning. But when I read the script, I said, okay, I can make a lot of things in this script. So, you know, it's life. You say I would not do this, and uh, you know, a couple of months after, you you you're on track again. Wanted for murder. Suspect's name: Brian Mills. Liam Neeson is, of course, the face of this franchise, and he's been with it since the start. He's an incredibly physical, imposing character on the screen, and it's a very physical role. I wondered how much input he has into the stunts and a how lot, closely yeah. he works with you. Yeah, a lot. The thing that the people they don't they don't they don't they don't understand how far he could be, uh, how far he could be uh, into everything. Uh, is uh, is learning all the fights with Anna Figas, and uh, and uh, we work for him and. Uh, and he rears a lot, and, uh, and uh, when, for example, we have little inserts to do, he, he absolutely wants to make it, so even if he has to wait, so, no, no, he's, uh, even if he's more than 60, he's there, he's there, and, uh, and he likes to do all, his, uh, all of his stunts, uh, you know. Sometimes I have to say stop, because uh, we have a couple of drama scenes to shoot, and say, okay, you know, in the morning maybe you can stop there because in the end of the uh, of, of the day we have a, a couple of other sequences to shoot, and uh, I just want you to be, you know, on your two feet, you know. So uh, no, is uh, is is I would like to be like him, you know, uh, you know, in in at, at sixty, I would like to be like him. Then wouldn't we all? <laughs> What's your first priority here, Inspector? My job is to bring you in. My first priority is to protect the only one I have left. Obviously, the first film took place in Paris, the second in Istanbul, the third is now taking place in Los Angeles. Um, uh, how, how important was that to set, set it in America as opposed to Europe? I think it's because everything began there, you know. Uh, the beginning of the first one was in LA, and uh, it was a story of a family, dysfunctional family, Unfair because you know I don't know if you remember this birthday when the, the, the when Stuart offered uh, uh, offers a, a, a horse to uh, to Kim. So we are we, we began the movie and we began the, the the franchise by this by LA. So we wanted to finish everything and and therefore we written on the other parts. It all ends here. It's because uh, because of this because it's uh, it was in LA and because. Everywhere in the world, the people Istanbul was some somewhere when where that nobody I've seen before a lot. You know, it was a brand new location. It was from it was incredible. You know the this location and uh, and uh, for us, for European people making American movie, uh, it was very important to finish and to have uh, and to use Los Angeles as a as a as a playground again because uh, the American they don't know how to. Ultimately, that kind of image in their own town because you know they are living there and they are not seeing the, the town the same way. It would be the same thing for me in for me in Paris. You know, I don't know Paris as an American or an English or a German guy would uh, you know would know. You know, so it's uh, yeah, it's logical. They'll find you and they'll stop you. Good luck. <laughs>